welcome back to the walkthrough. The ship is now losing altitude. Oh no! We have to do something. We have to get away. I hope I can. I really do. Alright, back in control of Sonic. Hold on just a sec here, please. Oh, okay, sorry for that little interruption. I had to check the battery's life here. Uh, the captain's room is over here. Uh, what you have to do is... Ah, let me go... At least I think it is. Don't I... Wait, no, no, no. No, 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 this is wrong, actually. <laughs> yeah, Eggman's got a pool on his egg carrier. Isn't that awesome? Uh, captain's room. I'm looking for the captain's room. Um, I can jump behind here, by the way, and get some rings. Surprisingly, Sonic does not fall into the abyss, even when he's standing in midair like that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, why do I have to point out all these things? I'm just afraid it's going to destroy the universe. Oh, wait, this is the captain's room. <clears throat> if I'm to continue... I need to change this ship back to its original shape. Oh, yeah. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. I know where the switch is. Let's go hit that switch. Go inside. And now there's going to be a chair. Oh, wait, wait. You have to go up to the next area. Excuse me. Got to light speed dash up these rings. Whee! Now there's a chair. Sit on the chair. It'll open up for you. Now go in the door behind the chair. I, I should say press that switch first. Then it'll change the, sh the ship back to what it was, and then you'll be able to go through that door and back to the deck. What emergency? Was it because there was a hedgehog on board? I know they like to chew up things, and they're very destructive of things, but they're not that dangerous. Anyway... Oh no, he ran towards the front of the ship! We must follow him! Go on these platforms and go all the way... What the heck happened there? Well, if you fall off, take that elevator back up. Use the, spr use the springs. And go over to here. Time to face Chaos 6. This is what I was talking about in the last part. If you know what to do, this boss fight is pretty easy. Holy poopers, he's got six emeralds. He looks like a nasty water scorpion. Oh, no! This is getting dangerous. I'm afraid it is. Oh no! What the heck? No, Froggy! Wait, who's Froggy? And who are you? Fat ugly cat? Actually, that's that's big. I hate big. He has probably the most boring story ever. You'll see when I do his story. What? Chaos had a missing tail? I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. Don't worry, we'll find out about that later. I'll explain it. Bring it on, baby. Okay, there's these things. There's these, like, ice... Ice... Whatever robots floating around the edges of the screen. Just grab two rings first off. Uh, Eggman uh, activate. Oh, shoot. Uh, he'll suck in those ice things automatically, and then you just jump at him when he freezes over. And that's all you have to do. I'm serious. For such a climatic boss battle, this is another one of the easiest boss battles ever. You can even throw those things or knock them into his mouth manually. It's so pathetic. Yeah, but at the same time, it's still got a pretty epic feel to it, to it especially with the music. Um, I'm just going to knock those things. Um, here, I'll throw this at you. Oh, jump over the shockwave. Whenever he jumps in the air, I just threw it in his mouth. And that's the end of Chaos 6. Oh, no, wait, it's four hits. Excuse me. Why did I think it was three hits? I don't know. Well, anyway, it still continues. Nothing changed. And I just froze him once again. Goodbye, Chaos 6. Chaos is gone for good. Yeah. Sorry, Eggman, but your plans for world domination have failed in like 57.3 seconds. And that's kind of sad, especially with how much money you poured into the egg carrier. Unless you stole the stuff of the egg carrier, I don't know. Another cutscene! Oh, 
won't believe it. I can see a spider crawling down from the ceiling on a web. I can see it lighting up on the side of the TV. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. <laughs> it's got like a random spider appearance. Now I can't see any- oh, now I can see something. Oh, well the spiders are harming anyone. They're actually taking care of the dang mosquito problem that we have. Ah, the mosquitoes are horrible this year. So horrible, and that looked like it hurt Sonic. Uh, I hate Eggman. Me too. Where's but there's got to be a villain somewhere. I'm in some sort of tropical jungle. Whoa, what is this? It appears that this pyramid is coming apart. Or lifting up somehow. It's how does it work? It, it looks ancient. They never made me think mechanical back then. Oh. Well, actually, they did. Like traps and stuff like that. What is this thing? It's the bubble. The light bubble. That's right. We must follow it. Try to show me something. Go into the light, Sonic. Why did I use that joke again? I don't know. I just, re I just realized I used it again. Whoopsie doodle, I hate repetition in my comment commentary. And now I can play as Big, by the way. I can do his story if you ever want to do that story. But I guess I'm going to have to since I'm the walkthrough guy. This is Stage 9, The Lost World. Go to the center of the ruins. Um, this is probably one of the longest stages on Sonic's story besides the Casinoopolis story. But Casinoopolis is long for the wrong reasons. This one is pretty dang fun. And I can see that spider climbing up his web. But dang it, he must be making a web in my room. He's making his home. And, ah, uh, I cannot let that happen. I will squish him later. And, you know, whenever this part is over. As you can see, don't touch the fiery blocks. Uh, yeah, that should go without saying. You can run up the walls if you want to, but it's just faster to stay on the ground. And go through the twisted tunnels of awesomeness. And woo! Don't fall into the spikes. The spikes hurt. You know, spikes do hurt in video games. If you never knew that before. Um, climb up here and hit this switch. It'll raise the water level. And now I gotta wait for the snake to come around. Like so. And jump on its head. Uh, ideally you want to be on its head. Or, yeah, somewhere around there. Because, um... It, it gives you the best chance of jumping to the next platform whenever it comes up. Um, it's coming, it's coming. No, I'm not going to make a joke there, although I kind of did make a Whoa, 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 hold on there now, Pokey. The camera just cut off in the middle of what I was talking to, so I'm resuming right here. I just, I just committed suicide so I could restart this part for you guys, so... Yeah, the camera didn't cut off because it was full or anything. It cut off because I was running low on battery power. So, sorry about that. Uh, so, I guess you could add, I should say, you could have one death to the total. Doesn't really matter, but I purposely died over there just for, uh, just so I could restart it. And go over here, raise the water level like that, and wait for the snake to come around again. And jump on his head like that. Now wait, gotta wait for the next opportunity I can get to a switch. And that is right over, wait, don't go to that door just yet, it'll just waste time. Avoid fire dude there just by staying on the snake, and jump on the platform, get on the switch, that's the final switch, the door is now open, you can go on that door, wait for the snake to come around again, unless you can get on his tail, yeah baby! Uh, usually I have to wait there, but I got a little bit lucky. Okay, it's coming out of the water, and oh my goodness, glitchy, glitchy, okay, we're safe, we're going to the interior, and this is where the game starts to get a little more action-packed, we're now on the side of the mountain, as you can see, and now we're going inside the mountain, uh, I have no idea how this is going to affect the camera, because this is a really dark area, so uh, bear with me here, um, see this mirror, aim it towards the mirrors off to the side, and you'll light up the path. Actually, the camera is working pretty well, so I'm happy with that. Aim for the mirror, and there you go. And jump across the pathways carefully. Use the lanterns as your guidance. 
Um, if you want to, you can take the left route over there uh, by jumping across, but I don't recommend it. It's a little bit riskier because it's darker, and I don't want to do that for the camera's sake. So I'm just gonna. No, I fell in the water. Be right back. All right, and we're back over here. I just died the same way. What the poop? All right, attempt number three. Okay. A little bit more careful that time because I got a little bit nervous. I wouldn't make it again, but that's all in your mind. All right, charge up the light speed dash to get through this. Woo! And you're through. Checkpoint. Water slide for the win! Whee! Look at me go! And now it is a springy part like that, and you can also jump across those platforms if you want to, but I don't think it's much faster than springing across them. Um, right here, hold down the hallway, do not stop, because a ball is coming at you like an Indiana Jones! I hope you could even understand me, with, because I talked really quick there. <laughs> For some reason, the Indiana Jones boulder there is on fire. I don't know why. Maybe it's causing sparks along the way to come out. I don't know, but hit that spring. Go through the door. This door, too. And we're inside the water area. And now I'll be able to walk on walls just by simple adjustment with a switch. Press the switch until they glow. And you'll be a very happy hedgehog like this. And now you'll be able to walk up the walls. Isn't that nice? Uh, I'm pretty sure I have to go up here like that. Avoid these spikes, they're gonna come towards you. There's a switch right here. And there we go. Get on the wall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get on <laughs> Do not slide off, Sonic. We have come too far. I will not let you die now. Actually, you died two times already. Technically three, because of that suicide on purpose. Because of the camera. But that's okay. I've got ah 18 more lives somehow. I don't even I mean, I wasn't even paying attention to how I was even getting those lives. Wait till they glow, and now you can stand on them. Yeah, you can only stand on these things when they're glowing, which is part of the, these blocks, uh, physics, so to speak. Not physics, uh, mechanics. And jump across there. That's the safest way I found out than going across the floor. And this should be coming near the end here. I'm pretty sure all I have to do is light speed dash for the win. Hit the switch. Hit the switch sign. Thank you. Light speed dash. Woo! Through the door. It, through the loop. Into the inner chambers. And that's it for the stage. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. And I'll see you in the next one. Doop doop.